Hello. Economic problems at home, coupled with disputes over colonial expansion and access to trading opportunities in the Americas, contributed to rising tension between England and Spain that boiled over into outright war in 1739. The trigger was the alleged mistreatment of British seaman Robert Jenkins, captain of the Rebecca, a merchant brig, whose ship was boarded and searched by Spanish coast guards looking for illicit cargo, and during which he claimed his ear was cut off. There were rumours he may have lost his ear in the pillory or in a brawl, but Parliament were convinced the Spanish were to blame. A satirical cartoon of the time pictured Prime Minister Robert Walpole recoiling from the sight of the severed ear pickled in a jar. Public indignation at the alleged incident swayed opinion in favour of retaliatory action. The war with Spain was soon swallowed up in a wider conflict, the War of the Austrian Succession, fought over the right of Maria Theresa to the Habsburg throne. Always a candidate for cuts in straightened economic circumstances, the Royal Navy was ill-prepared. An experienced commander, Thomas Matthews, was recalled from semi-retirement, promoted to Admiral and given command of a squadron to patrol the Mediterranean. In 1774, and now aged 67, Matthews, on his flagship HMS Namur, was keeping watch on the port of Toulon, where a Spanish fleet and several French vessels were moored. When they set sail for the open sea, Matthews set off in pursuit. Desperate to engage, but struggling to keep pace with the clean, freshly scraped hulls of the enemy ships and to draw alongside, against fighting instructions, Matthews had the signal to attack hoisted before the signal to form a battle line had been hauled down, confusing his captains. Some ships broke formation and followed Namur into the attack. Others attempted to hold the line, while others dithered, first breaking the line, then trying to return to formation. Taking advantage of the disarray, the Franco-Spanish fleet came about and managed to inflict significant damage before escaping. Parliament called for an inquiry, and several commanders, including Matthews, were court-martialed. Matthews' judgment was called into question, but not his courage. He was convicted of failing to comply with official tactics and cashiered, dismissed from service. In the war in the Caribbean, the Navy experienced mixed fortunes under, among others, Admiral Edward Vernon, known as Old Grog, from his habit of wearing a coat made of a material called grogrim, a mixture of wool and silk lending his name to the diluted rum ration he introduced. In 1739, Vernon captured Porto Bello, a Spanish possession in what is now Panama, a morale-boosting and popular victory that caught the public's imagination, inspiring the composition of Rule Britannia and the naming of Porto Bello Road in Notting Hill. Vernon's success at Porto Bello raised expectations and led in 1741 to an overly ambitious assault on the heavily fortified city of Cartagena in modern-day Colombia. The attack failed and some 50 ships were lost in the action. In 1745, with the government focused on war with France and Spain, Charles Edward Stuart, Bonnie Prince Charlie, the Young Pretender, took the opportunity to launch an attempt to win back the Scottish and English thrones lost by his father in the Glorious Revolution. With a small number of companions, he set sail for Scotland from France on board Le Du Toyer, a French privateer ship escorted by the Elizabeth, a French warship carrying weapons, supplies and money to kickstart a Jacobite uprising. They were intercepted by Captain Piercy Brett of the Royal Navy aboard HMS Lyon. After a hard-fought exchange that left Lyon crippled, the Elizabeth was forced to return to France. Charles Stuart managed to sail on to land in Inverness, where he began rallying support for his cause. When the Jacobite adventure failed, 
the Royal Navy were involved in transporting troops to Scotland to complete the defeat of the rebel army. Naval pride, dented by the disaster at Cartagena, was restored by two crushing victories over the French off Cape Finisterre in 1747. The first under Admiral George Anson, the second led by Admiral Edward Hawke. Captain Piercy Brett, later Admiral Piercy Brett, had earlier taken part in an amazing expedition led by George Anson. That expedition will be my subject next time. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons and click on the notification bell to be informed when the next video is available. Or you can subscribe by clicking on the rose window over my shoulder.